Welcome to another malware traffic analysis video. Today we'll look at the Remcos RAT. Okay, let's just go to the website and we're going to try and download all the files, files that are related to the Remcos RAT. For those of you who don't know what Remcos is, basically it's an extensive and powerful remote control software which can be used to fully administrate one or many computers remotely. Basically it's a RAT. So let's have a look at the files. We just downloaded them. We have four files here. They're all zipped. So first we have the Remcos RAT infection uh, .txt. Then we have the PCAP file, which we're going to look at in just a second. Then we have the mouse palm. It's a .eml, which uh, means that basically it's an email file. Most probably that's where the rat came from. And the fourth one is artifacts. So let's have a look at each. I'm just going to unzip the PCAP. Let's see what's inside. As you know, the password is infected. And it should be unzipped. Okay. Right. We open the file. Before we start analyzing the PCAP, let's just see what we have as information from the website. So basically there's a Remcos rat infection from an Excel file with macros. And since we have the .eml file, I can assume that file came from an email. So let's just unzip the email. We unzip the file. Now let's just open it with Vim. Okay. So what we can see here is the email is from Wells Fargo, subject Wells Fargo payment remittance, notice, one fourth whatever, two, information removed. Now what's important to note that we have a, f a couple of sections here in this email and there's, there's a file that's attached from uh, what I can see, file name, content type application, VND, MS Excel, the name of the file is payment remittance advice something something xlsb that's the file name and that's the file itself we'll get to that in uh, in a bit so we're back at the pcap file let's have a look at it now before we start you know there's a few things that we need to do we need to see what the length is of the file see for how long the pcap has been uh, uh, been capturing packets um, and also see what the connections are, what the endpoints are, and then we can uh, dig deep. At least, at least it's good for us to have a first view to see what's happening. It's good to have an idea of uh, what kind of uh, packets we're dealing with here. We're going to start with the statistics. Sorry, yeah, statistics, capture file properties. So we know that the time of the capture is 1 minute 42. Okay, so it's not a particularly big capture. We have 5,600 something packets. And the date, which will obviously we need to take notes of everything. So I'm taking notes out of all these things. Next, we're going to look at the endpoints. See, as per the APV4, to see what uh, IP addresses are in there. We know that, that we have two internal IP addresses. I can assume that that's the gateway is the dot one and uh, 101 might be the infected machine. Let's see. And then statistics, protocol hierarchy. So let's see what kind of packets we have in the packet capture. We see that we have HTTP requests. In addition to that, we have DNS requests as well. We'll start off with the HTTP. So knowing what an Excel file with enabled macros usually does, I can assume that we opened the Excel file and it made a HTTP request, obviously on port 80, 
to this IP address which I'm gonna write down in another section because we need that for later and made a get request to to this location onedrive.live.com so let's just follow the HTTP stream so we made a get request to this location from what I can see is that we got a 301 so moved permanently so it got redirected so in the body we can see another that's an HTML so that's the link I guess that's where we got redirected obviously when we look at the file later on we'll be able to confirm if in fact this is the the address that was written down on the Excel file but let's just have a look at the other requests we saw that there's other requests HTTP dot request we made another request after that to this IP address I'm gonna write down this IP address as well and then this one they're both get requests and we see two JPEGs so let's have a look at the first one all right look at that so we have a 200 OK <laughs> and look at that it's beautiful active object shell execute PowerShell and that's obviously obfuscated code nice that's not a JPEG <laughs> so let's have a look at the other one request All right. so the second one is a uh, calient.jpg nice again following the HTTP stream mm, what happened huh for some reason my computer is making funny noises uh-huh I see well my guess is the file is too big so it turned out the file is too big and it completely crashed Wireshark. So I just open it again. And in fact, let's have a look at those files that we just found out. So we're gonna go to file, export objects, HTTP, and there they are. Well, that's uh, 2000 KB. It's pretty big. Those are the three files. So the first one in OneDrive, second one is those IP addresses which we took a note on them so I just thought of something since I'm on my Kali machine and I wanna I really want to analyze those files I don't have the tools on my Kali machine and I really don't want to install them right now so let me just move to my Remnix machine and I'll get back before that let's see if we're missing some other information in this PCAP so okay so let's try and piece piece the whole story together so a guy opened the file he download he opened an email he downloaded um, the Excel file and he opened it uh, which had the macros enabled and apparently it did an HTML request that got redirected and downloaded the file we got the file and then what's happening here we have an encrypted connection to the same IP address okay then we see that we did a DNS request to this domain another encrypted connection okay client hello and then what do we see okay connection ended so that's that's when the other HTTP request is. It starts sync, synac, ack, and then we get the get for the atcn.jpg file, which we downloaded. That's the communication there. Rest. Third one. So that's a third connection coming in, syn, synac, to this IP address. And that's the file. That's the file. 
that we downloaded it's uh, it's pretty big it's pretty big i'm just gonna zoom down so that's the point where the file is downloaded and then and then what is this we see a dns request to this domain and then TLS 1.3, we see an encrypted connection to this IP address. We're going to take note of this IP address as well. And then it's all encrypted data going down from there. So, you know, I can assume that this is, this is the Remcos rat connection. That's the traffic. Let's, let's just have a look at those IP addresses. So let's have a look at the first IP. That's the 79, 79134255579. Just checking virus total. Yeah, pretty malicious. Look at that, Remcos, Remcos 2. This IP carried out Apache log for <laughs> Nice. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's for another video. Source IP to control the botnet. Yeah, it's pretty pretty malicious. Let's have a look at the other IPs as well. No need to tell you that the IP addresses are pretty malicious, all of them. So we wrote them down in uh, our report. Now comes the more interesting part. We're in the Remnux machine and we're gonna start analyzing all the files that we know are inside the PCAP and uh, as well as the email and try and see uh, if we can download the Excel file and see what happens. So stick around. We're gonna analyze those in part two.